let us continue with our lesson and uh, let's let us create a navigation so for that i will go to the rest and create a new resource from here the android resource directory and uh, here we will select a uh, navigation so let us create a navigation so this navigation will be used for the navigation graph so where we can create a navigation graph from uh, where we can set up the graph for the navigation so for that we have to create a new so let me select a new and create a navigation a resource file and i will just give as a give any name so i'll just give a mobile mobile uh, navi ga navigation uh let's give let me give a name as a mobile navigation and just click on okay and it need to add some of the dependencies you can see it requires the navigation uh, fragment or uh, some of the de dependencies so let, let us add that dependency and we'll go to the build.gradle and module app so let's go over here and now you will see that we, it has added some of the dependencies. So previously it this two was not there and now we can see that this two has been added so let me give a name so this is a navigation so easy for you to remember so this is a navigation and uh, let's synchronize this one and let us go to the navigation now so we have a navigation over here and now we need to build up this one so what we will do now is we'll go back to the main activity and since we have the button there let us add the uh, let let me search for the uh, navigation so nav, nav fragment we have to add so nav was fragment over here right so just select this one nav was fragment and just drag it over there so we need to add whenever we add that one we need to add the navigation so navigation we just created is the bottom nav so this is the one that we just created uh, sorry not bottom left so we just created this one mobile navigation if you remember just now we created this one just select this one and it will add for us and let me try it let me constrain it so just select the drop down and constrain it uh, let, let's constrain, constrain it horizontally into the parent and uh, we have to set the layout width to match the constraint and for the height we will say mask the constraint and let us constrain it on top of this bottom nav view and for the top i will constrain it to the top over there and uh, that should be fine and if you go to this style what we have we have a uh, let me change this one to material so app compact so material day night right so i will select a different temp for this one Mm, app compact day night and let me remove this one and uh, day night and should be action bar so dark action bar okay so i will select that one and that should be fine just close this one and uh, now we have uh, the fragment host and let us keep the i'll just keep a name fragment host over here give a name as a host fragment and we'll go to the nav over here we have a nav activity main as the fragment so this is the host which will be hosting all of the navigation so all of the fragment that we can so we can add more fragment and add to this uh, navigation host. so for that what we will do is i will just go to the let me minimize that one and the layout uh, sorry let us create a fragment over here so i'll create a new package right click and create a new package and i'll just call it as a ui and inside this ui let us add the fragment so just go over here and add a fragment and uh, we will just create a fragment for now and just click on this particular fragment right so click on over here and we will say that the package name where we want to add right uh, sorry this is a fragment list i need to select the fragment from here so let's go to the fragment and just select the empty fragment from here so where is the empty fragment i cannot find where is the okay fragment bl blank 
and a given name so this will be our home home fragment and just click on finish so they give the name and the source as the coffin just click on finished so that will be our home fragment right and we need to add uh, another one let us add uh, another fragment that should be fragment okay blank and this should be of the another fragment which is of the dash board right and just click on finished and we will have another one we will have another one one is of notification so just go over here and fragment blank and let us give a name of a notification and click on finished so we have a three and um, these are some of the rough code that we have to let uh, we will remove that one for now let us keep as it is and just close all of this for now and uh, let me close all of this and on the let's go to the mobile navigation so from here you can go to the navigation and mobile navigation and just click on add from here and let us add our home and this is the starter so home is our starter and let us add another one as the dashboard and then we have to add the notification and uh, what we will do is we'll go to the menu and what we have we have an id of our home just copy this one and go over here and give the id as the same so give a same id and and just yes and over copy this one too and uh, replace this one id too so we need to replace for all home is replaced and the dashboard and now we have for the notification just copy this one and go over here and uh, replace for this one too and now we need to change the label too so label we have a uh, notification so we can just replace with a string file that we previously created and for this one we say as a dashboard string resource file and for this one also we will replace as the home the string resource file that we previously created and that should be okay so if you go to the main activity now we have a hello blank uh, fragment that has been added from our the first fragment the home fragment this is the one and let us run our application and uh, let us see if we have any error over here so just wait for the application to come up and uh, now if you see the application you can see that we have added that fragment hello blank fragment but when you click on this uh, the menu over here it's not changing the fragment so we need to write some code for that one so let us see you on the next lecture on how to write a code to switch this fragment so let's meet up in our next lecture till then have a great day